Hello and welcome to In The Hyperloop, my name is Blake. Today we're talking about The Boring Company and some brand new information that's just come out and released. I first saw this from Wired um, and it turns out The Boring Company is planning to dig a tunnel to Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. Um, it's a really fascinating read, I would highly recommend it. Um, basically though, it's a 3.6 mile tunnel that picks up from one of three LA Metro stations and runs underneath Sunset Boulevard, ending at the stadium parking lot. This is a really great article um, by the staff members, Jack Stewart, and uh, the Boring Company has also updated their website. Um, and it's under the Projects tab this time, and we see each different project um, listed at, as their own kind of page. So we're just going to click out, click the dugout loop, Los Angeles, and um, the proposed dugout loop, and this is the first time we've ever heard about this. Um, basically, it's uh, from Los Fez, East Hollywood, um, Rampart Village neighborhoods to Dodger Stadium. And the purpose of the dugout loop is to help reduce traffic in LA by providing clean, efficient public transportation to Dodger Stadium. In the, in the part of this article below, um, you see this is only for people. It's not going to be for cars or any other kind of skate um, within the loop. So where will this run? And you can see the, um, the diff three different subway stations and they have concept number one, which is this blue line going to Dodger Stadium over here on the right, and then this kind of black line, and then this red, uh, green line, and um, really fascinating. It's 3.6 miles, I think, for the blue line, and will this interfere with the metro? I think that's on everybody's mind um, to make sure that it doesn't compete with a public um, infrastructure that's already been built, and they're working with metro, and they're not going to construct until the Metro has finally given approval for the plan. Um, what will uh, be constructed, it's a single tunnel. Um, that's interesting um, that it's just going to be a single tunnel and then a lift station elevator thing for each skate. Um, what does it look like in t inside the tunnel? Um, you know, we've seen this released uh, about a couple weeks ago of what the tunnel will look like and the wheels of the vehicles will be on these two kind of platforms and this metal grate will allow for people to walk inside the tunnel and um, where will the construction occur? It'll begin um, at Dodger Stadium property, uh, the western terminus and there will be six ventilation shafts along the alignment um, on private property. Um, how long will the construction last? Uh, take up to 14 months, probably much less. Um, and there's two loop lifts. I believe they're at each end, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, seems really fat, rapid. Um, currently, you know, it's beneath public right of way and private land ownership. And yes, the tunnel's completely underground. You're not going to hear it. How deep will the tunnel be? 30 to 44 feet. Um, and there won't be any road closures, uh, loop. Um, each skate will have eight to 16 passengers. We haven't really heard about that. Um, and we have seen uh, renders that have uh, wheelchairs and bicycles um, as well inside, the, inside each electric skate. Um, four minutes to go, the distance about $1. That's just crazy. Um, so it's like one of those electric scooter rides but a lot cheaper. Um, how do you buy a ticket? That'll be interesting. I think in the Wired article, they said they only have about 1,500 tickets available uh, per each Dodger game, um, but I think they're still trying to figure out how that will happen. Um, you know, during events, uh, you know, it's there's a lot of logistics uh, for such a huge infrastructure of the stadium and events and stuff. Um, this is where uh, I saw the 1,400 people, um, and you know it could 
increase riderships to 2,800 per game or event. Um, and between the events, the loop will transport about 250,000 people per year. I think this finally gives us some hard numbers to see other loops that could be built around the world um, between cities or venues and cities. And um, that's really fun. We'll be trying to render and figure out those numbers in the next couple weeks. Um, this is what's really interesting. We've never seen this Im image before of kind of, uh, you know, the skates and the elevator and a pedestrian. I think that's an escalator for people, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, or maybe that's for a skate, but I think that the elevator um, moves the skate up and down. Um, this is the other terminus, and it's more of a ramp, which is kind of similar to what the Boring Company made, has made in Hawthorne. Um, you know, what are the loof lifts? Um, oh, and it's similar tunnel entrance design as the Hawthorne tunnel. Um, surface points, we've seen images and, um, you know, the, this lift going up and down. It's, it seems pretty noisy, but I think they're, you know, that was the prototype. Um, so it'll be a little bit better. Um, it goes, you know, electric skate 125 to 150 miles per hour. Um, that's pretty sweet. Um, autonomous. Uh, yep. Uh, who's paying for this? The project's 100% privately funded and will require zero taxpayer dollars. That's pretty impressive. Um, again, this is uh, the loop and the boring company is making this Dodger loop for people and prioritizing pedestrians and cyclists, which is great. A lot about earthquakes, as I'm sure a lot of um, people that have lived in Los Angeles um, know about earthquakes. And you know, every time there is one, everybody uh, gets a little scared, rightfully so. So that's good that they're studying this. And um, tunnels happen to be the safest place um, during an earthquake, so that's great. How do you evacuate? Again, we've seen this kind of language in the FAQ part of the um, boring company. And, um, you know, that's it's really good to hear. And again, the fire um, hazard um, is very low, which is fortunate. And there's no third rail. We've seen this as this section in the FAQ as well. Um, what government agencies are involved? We've seen this kind of mentioned in other um, press releases with uh, Chicago and, and DC and you know everybody's involved and the metro is involved um, and they have so many projects Los Angeles metro um, in LA right now it's it's hard not to be um, have the blessing from metro um, you know a little bit about um, some other studies that are going on and there's public meetings that will be happening let's hope uh, those public meetings will be broadcast, and that's pretty cool. Um, more information on agencies and environmental processes, um, and a test tunnel will be made. That's interesting, um, but it didn't include passenger operations, so um, you know we're just kind of waiting for them to build the dugout loop. Um, and then, you know, how to get back in touch with um, the Boring Company and the city of LA. So very interesting news developments. We're going to be tracking this further, but since this just came out um, a couple hours ago from the Wired article, which I recommend and I'll put in the show notes, um, still a, a changing topic. And I'm sorry that this was so long, but stay in the loop and um, stay tuned for more developments from the Boring Company.